All right, we're here with Joe Dobbs in uh, beautiful downtown Carlton. Joe, you don't spend much uh, a lot of time in Carlton, uh, but you're over in Dundee, which is just over the hill. Yeah. Tell us what you're up to. Well, over here, uh, I'm visiting with Ruth Carvin, one of my clients, and, and yourself and Eric Deggerman, and chatting about the town of Carlton and Cliff Creek wines. And I guess we're going to talk about Wine by Joe now, huh? Yeah, what, <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on with Wine by Joe and with uh, uh, Dobbs family? Yeah, Wine by Joe is an exciting year for us. Uh, we just released two brand new wines, um, a stainless steel fermented Chardonnay, so Chablis style of the new Dijon clones, well, newish Dijon clones to Oregon. And it's been uh, very well received in its early reviews. And uh, first of a wine uh, of its kind to Oregon, as far as I know, a wine called Joe's Secco, a takeoff on Prosecco, of course. A little tongue-in-cheek, which is what Wine by Joe is all about. Serious wine with no attitude, and there's no attitude in this wine. Just great stuff. So true sparkling wine. And uh, both wines sell for a whopping 14 to $16, depending on where you find them. I've got to think that... Value, uh, value. Yeah, I've, I've got to think the... Uh, <laughs> You know, the last three years uh, that the Wine by Joe uh, label has done pretty well during some tough economic it times. It really has. We're, uh, fortunately, Andy, a little bit of uh, luck uh, <laughs> in advance of the, uh, the recession, the Great Recession. And uh, we're very well positioned, and uh, the wines are doing well. You know, it's getting more and more competitive these days with value price Pinot Noir, especially, and Pinot Gris. But uh, there are more players in the market, but I feel fortunate because we've been there before. We're not a newcomer. There's, it's not a virtual label. There's actually a guy and a story and a lot of years of history behind it, and it's really taken off. So now we're making a big push to get uh, national distribution, meaning all 50 states instead of about 25 or 30 states. So we're hmm. grow the brand and double down and take it to the next level. <laughs> You've, you were kind of a pioneer as far as a, a Willamette Valley winemaker working with Southern Oregon fruit when you were when you were at Willamette Valley Vineyards. Yeah. And you've right. kind of extended that relationship since since leaving uh, Turner. So Yeah. Well, actually, prior to that, Andy, I started working with uh, Southern Oregon fruit in, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it was 1990 hmm. uh, when I was at uh, Hinman Vineyard, Sylvan Ridge, and just kind of hedged my bets. I was getting Chardonnay from Southern Oregon down uh, Applegate, actually, uh, from uh, not Shroon, as the name escapes me now, but a pioneer in in the Rogue Valley, I was buying their fruit. And uh, a little Cabernet for the for the Hinman label. And yeah, I continue to make fruit from Southern Oregon uh, for Cliff Creek, one of my clients, the reason we're talking today. And uh, Don and Trouty Moore from South Stage Cellars have vineyards down the Applegate, or the uh, Rogue Valley as well as Cliff Creek does. Hmm. And uh, you know, Southern Oregon grows some amazing stuff. I mean, Syrah, Cabs, uh, Cab Francs, Merlot, Sangiovese, some Dolcettos, and, Tempranillo, of course. I mean, it's, I love making these bigger and different kind of esoteric wines, at least to Oregon. You know, Marsan, Roussan, and now under my own Dobbs label, we're making Grenache Blanc. That's something that's new. Second Vintage, we're the first producers, as best I know, in Oregon uh, making gr a commercial Grenache Blanc. Hmm. And it's my new favorite white wine. I love it. And, I'm going to get you a bottle of it. And, and to explain that, mm -hmm. that, that's not just a, a white Grenache. It's it's, no, its own variety. it's actually a mutation of Grenache, red Grenache. As I guess you could say, uh, Pinot Blanc is, or Pinot Gris is a mutation of Pin from Pinot Noir. Right. So, yeah, it's a pure white, green, well, greenish yellow grape. Right. So, you know, Pinot Gris looks a little kind of salmon, copper colored. Right. But, uh, yeah, green grape, but it's, it's a nice, beautiful one. So, someone wants to try your wines. Where, where's your tasting room? Tell tasting us some of that. Tasting rooms in Dundee. There's one traffic signal in town. Turn downhill and go across the tracks, and you can't miss us. We're on the left hand side. As, uh, old wooden buildings. It, beautiful. As I recall, there's pretty good signage on, on 99 there's West. There's good signage, so. the blue signs, and there's a, a sign on the front of the building as well. All right. So right behind Argyle. Okay. Get some bubbles from Argyle, come on down the road. Come on and have some Joe Secco. Some Joe Secco as well. Yeah, yeah. all right. Half the price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe, thanks for your time. Oh, thank you, Andy. It was my pleasure.